Good day. Today I'm going to be varnishing some canvases. So I just thought I'd just explain briefly what you need to do. I haven't used silicon in any of these silicon oil, so any sort of oil, so I don't have to worry too much about any oils on them. But there's dust and grime that's gathered because it's been a few weeks since I painted these. So I just give them a very light uh, wipe over and I'll follow that with, actually no, I'll just let it damp it slightly because it's a bit wet. Just let that dry naturally and then do the next one because you don't want them to be dirty or the, there'll be a basically a space between the varnish and the painting and therefore the varnish won't stick properly in those places so it doesn't take long so I'll just continue with this with these ones and I'll get back to you when I'm going to actually spray the varnish and obviously you need to make sure these are completely dry before you do that. So I'll give it a, an hour or so, should be dry plenty of time before that. Alright, back to you in a minute. Alright, so I've set them up outside over a pump. Um, it's on a bit of an angle, so that's good. And I'll start off just <clears throat> spraying... Oh, the dogs can hear me talking and they think there's someone here. Uh, I'm going to start off by just spraying the surfaces and then I will pick them up individually and do their sides. Okay, so what I'm using is something I got from the Jackson's Art Supplies in Bunbury. It's the only one they really had. It was gloss. Um... Gloss varnish, colourless varnish for use on oil and acrylic paintings. So I've been giving it a good shake. And like, there's virtually no wind here at the moment, which is why I chose to do it now. Uh, but yeah, you've got to be careful because this is toxic to breathe in. So I'll probably hold my breath anyway while I'm spraying. It's also if there is a bit of a breeze to make sure you're upwind of it obviously um, which I believe I am at the moment but still you can still spray back at you a little bit so I won't be talking <laughs> I'm going to be holding my breath so it's basically just backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and then the other way this is their first coat A minute or two and then I'll go the other way. Right, it's only been oh, two, three minutes. It's touched dry already, so then I can go the other way. I'll start up this end. A bit already looking a bit prettier, a bit of a shine to them, brings out the colour a bit more than <clears throat> like when they dry, they seem to lose their colour a lot, but the varnishing tends to bring that back. And they're feeling touch dry already, yep. It looked shiny, so I thought it was still wet, but no, it's just the gloss. That's 
coat number three. Okay, that was so shiny, you think it's wet, but it is dry now. It's been about five minutes. Alright, give it another another coat. Colors are just popping now. Oh, love it! Makes such a difference. Really does. Now, obviously, some of the spray has got onto the sides just for me doing it, but not enough. So I will do the sides. So I'll just give that a few minutes for the tops to completely set. So basically, just. It used to be about, it says about 15, 20 centimetres away, so. This is one of my, one of my favourite paintings. I just love this one. Um, anyway, like the sides are already, you can see there's a bit of shine on them already. So we'll probably only need maybe one, maybe two coats. So we'll just hold it up and see your dog hair on there <laughs> everywhere. All right. Hold my breath. It's actually giving the top another spray as well. Turn it round. There we are. That's probably enough. It's quite shiny. Look how shiny that painting is now. All right, so I'll do that on all the others. You don't need to watch me doing it, but that's given you an idea of of how to varnish spray varnish. I think they've come up very nicely. Colours are shining. Looking very pretty. And, yep. Oh, the sun's just come out. Might help you to see the shine a bit more. Listen now. Put out the beautiful golds. Yep. Very happy. I highly recommend that you wear gloves. I now have varnished hands. <laughs> so I don't think that's healthy. I've washed them with soap and water, but they're still varnished. Terps are probably the only thing that can get them off, so I don't know whether terps is worse than the varnish. Anyway, please wear gloves, which is what I'm about to do for the next lot I'm going to do in a minute. Or else you might want to just do one on its own, in which case you could do the sides and the top all at the same time. 
Again, make sure that you're upwind of where you're spraying and still hold your breath, if I would. So I managed to do the top one way and the sides. And then in a couple of minutes I'll do the other way and the sides. And I'll do this one as well while I'm waiting for that one to dry. Okay, so this one's dried now. It's only been about five minutes. Make sure you keep shaking your can. And then go the other way. Alright, now the second coat on this one. These are some early ones that I did just on card. Well, not card, it's a, uh, what is it? Montmartre, Montmartre canvas panel. So, not that keen on them. They're a good, good thing to start on, but they do warp and anyway, I'll just spray these. some more waiting for them to dry all right so this is now dry doesn't take very long five to ten minutes give it another spray It's dry. Yeah, just dry. What more I'm up to? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter too much. Maybe I'll go. I'll go on an angle. And then it won't matter if I've got it around the wrong way. That's about four coats, I think. Yeah, pretty sure it's four coats. Not nice and shiny. My wave. Well, here they are, all beautiful and bright and shiny, having been varnished. Gee, I'm so pleased with how it brings out the colours. Just Gorgeous, so bright and pretty. Love it, just shines. That one has come up nicely, and those ones. Still finishing drying. Look at this. It's just come up beautifully. So bright and pretty. And even that I did these ones as well. 
not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet. See if I can find some frames or something. Because, yeah, they've come up beautifully. The colours just, yeah, just look so pretty. And these ones here, they've all been done. They all look so nice now. Gee, just love how it brings back the colours. Very happy. I've got more to varnish, which I'll have to do soon. I did this one a while ago. That needs varnishing. And a few more over there. <laughs> and more in the other room. But yeah, I can put these up for sale now. So hey, if any of you are interested in purchasing any of my art, please send me a message and let me know. Okie dokie. Thanks heaps again for watching. Catch you again soon. Bye.